All right, so let's go ahead and start creating our repository. So what I'm going to do is uh, go under helpers. We don't have anything right now. So right click, add a new file, and we're going to call this file. I'll select Swift file, of course, and call this file HK repository. So HealthKit repository. Okay. All right, uh, we're going to import health kit and uh, we're gonna create a final class hk repository okay so uh, in order to query the health kit uh, basically health store we need to create a variable so we're gonna create a store variable and this is gonna be of type hk health store now, HK Health Store is where all your uh, healthcare related information is stored. So we can actually query uh, it using the store and we're going to initialize it inside the initializer. So we're going to simply say store is equal to HK Health Store like that. Okay. Now, uh, when we when we query the health kit data um, uh, for that query we would we would need like you know what kind of uh, entities we are expecting right so uh, all we're going to do is uh, we're going to create uh, an array that's going to store all the entity types so we're going to say all types that are uh, that we're going to query and this is going to be a set all right and this set is going to keep uh, hk object type and we're going to use the quantity type for the identifier. So identifiers are going to be active energy burned. Okay. I'm going to copy this one. And uh, next one is going to be Apple exercise time. Apple move time. Apple stand time. Distance, distance walking, running, step count. Okay. Now it is complaining that the move time is actually something that came in, uh, um, that came in the uh, iOS 14. Well, I don't think we're gonna. Need that move time so for example uh, these five are good so we are gonna have uh, active energy burned exercise time stand time distance walking running and step count okay uh, if in case you need to include the um, the move time then I would say like you know either provide um, either do a check like you know if this is uh, iOS 15 then include this or uh, just like you know uh, minimum support create a minimum support of uh, support of ios 14.5 or plus okay all right so now if you notice uh, there is something unique about this array uh, all these key names the identifier names are similar to what we chose for our activity names all right so this is the name that we can actually use to identify what kind of activity it is okay so that's why we have created those now uh, moving on to into our repository creation we're gonna need a query and this query is going to be hk statistics collection query okay it's going to be of uh, optional type and uh, we're going to create this uh, query very soon now what we need to do is uh, we need to basically first request the authorization okay first we need to make sure that we present that dialog box for the authorization in front of our user uh, stating that hey we need um, this uh, access to the health stats okay for that we're going to create a simple function request authorization Okay, this is going to have a completion block. This is going to have escaping boolean returning void. All right. 
and we're gonna put a guard statement against the store to make sure that store is initialized otherwise we want to return and we want to say store dot request authorization to share we're gonna simply pass uh, an empty array okay and a read we want to read all the type values okay now this is uh, going to return us a success or success and error objects like that okay so what we're gonna do is uh, whenever success is called we can actually in the completion we're gonna supply the um, success okay uh, this is gonna help us find out if um, It's gonna help us basically return the um, the values uh, the way uh, the way they are. So let's see what the uh, issue here is. Um, yeah, so these are actually created optional types. So I'm gonna unwrap these because these types are gonna be present for those identifiers. So I'm just gonna simply I'm just gonna unwrap them. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Now, next thing what we need to do is we need to make sure um, that after the uh, authorization has been requested and user has authorized, we ask user to give their health stats. Okay, so that is going to be the next thing that we're going to do. Basically, uh, we're going to present our um, uh, basically. We're going to create a function uh, that will request the health stats for the user.